So ever since starting my YouTube channel back in uh, pretty much the first half of 2020 and going pretty much all in with investing time since during that period I had nothing else to do, hardly, because of what was going on in the world, my goal for YouTube, much like many people, were to at least, if any, have it as a contributing income to something else I'm doing. Uh, but if it were ever to become something more or my full-time income, then wonderful, I would have loved that. Hasn't got there yet. It's getting there. After hundreds of videos, I never really had too much success per video. And like many creators, you strive to get views because that's how you make money on YouTube is with views. The more views you get, the more ads are seen, the more money you get you get you know it's pretty simple right you know a lot of people think for a small channel you do not make hardly anything on youtube and that's not true small channels can make just as much as big channels it really has nothing to do with channel size it all has to do with the content the creator the genre of content there's a lot of different factors but channel size isn't one of them so this is an awesome video because I'm going to show you how much YouTube paid me for one of my very successful videos. Now going into that, of course, I made one video that was a bit polarizing, had potential to go viral, but did not. It did, however, do really well, just not extremely well or extraordinary well. It just happened to do better than most of the videos on my channel at the time, getting about 20,000 or so views which for me was crazy. Like that was awesome. Almost a year later, I decided to try to recreate that video to see if I can get something to do the same amount or better, you know, so my channel picks up more pace. So I did. I made a video pouring a whole bottle, whole gallon of Lucas uh, upper cylinder lubricant in the gas tank of my 2020 Mustang, which is definitely not something anyone would recommend. So yeah, it definitely had the potential to go viral because it's just something you don't do. So people are intrigued by, oh crap, what's going to happen when this guy puts a whole gallon of something shouldn't be in his car in his car. So I made that video and it started off fine. Started off normal, like my normal video. Then it started picking up. Then it started doing as good as the first video I made that was it was trying to emulate. And then the unthinkable happened. It was getting tens of thousands of views per day. And it started getting tens of thousands of views per hour. And then before I knew it, it was at a million views. One million views for what is considered a small channel. I am a small channel, and at the time, I was only half, actually less than half, of subscribers that I currently have now at the making of this video. So it's not impossible to have a viral video or a video that does well, which in translation makes a lot of money if you're a small channel. That begs the question, how much has YouTube paid me for my video that has 1 million views? Let's check it out. So without any hesitation, here is my analytics for 1 million views. YouTube paid me a whopping $3,868.47. You're probably thinking to yourself, I thought it was more. Well, once upon a time, it, it was more. Nowadays, it ain't more, but it's still a whole lot more than I had. I'm so happy to have been able to do this with YouTube and make that kind of money. Because when you make money like this with YouTube, that's when I consider myself a YouTuber. Making videos is one thing. Generating this kind of money with YouTube, that's kind of what separates that for me. And so it's awesome to be considered a YouTuber, like legit, to have this kind of revenue. Now, the thing is, this number for a million views can vary. There's a lot of different uh, things that play along. This video in particular was only eight minutes. It was just over eight minutes, which is the minimum video length required for YouTube to put mid-roll ads, you know, the ads that play 
in the middle of a video. If it's less than eight minutes, then the ads are only gonna play in the beginning, in the end, or one or the other. Longer videos will typically earn more money because generally you might sneak another ad play or so in the middle of that video. For eight minutes, I can't honestly put more than one ad in the middle. It just wouldn't be right. So this number could have been maybe four, 5,000 or so if it was a 15 minute video. But for an eight minute video at a million views, it was $3,800. Now let's go ahead and look at some more detailed analytics of this video. So if it only earned $3,868 for a million views months ago, how much has it earned since then? This is the cool part. Since published, I published this video in, was it May 26th? Since this video has been published, it has generated $7,812.23. Now, that's some nice pocket change. That really is. That sure does help, especially in today's weird world where everything is getting extraordinarily expensive. I am grateful to have this as a little extra income in my bank account, thankfully, and it has helped tremendously. In fact, it's YouTube who has saved my butt quite a lot lately in terms of going into financial turmoil. So I owe a lot to YouTube and my ability to have success financially. So yeah, as this video has progressed, it has earned a lot. It just keeps going up and up and it just continually adds each and every day. It earns a good amount of money. So here's the CPM for this video is 1396. This is kind of like what advertisers are paying YouTube for every thousand views. However, that's not my cut of it. My cut of it, we go over here and see revenue for every thousand views RPM. That's pretty much what I get paid per thousand views. Yeah, like I said, that number used to be double that. A few years ago, that used to be double that. Not so much anymore. Am I still excited to have earned what I have earned with YouTube in the time I've been doing it? Oh, of course. It's just unfortunate YouTube isn't the gold mine that it used to be for creators, but it's still pretty darn good. For me, I've had the most success financially in terms of revenue generation with YouTube compared to any of the other you know, um, social media platforms that you can monetize. And you know, the reason why I make this video is you know, for my followers to watch and to see kind of how the inner workings of the channels work on YouTube. And videos like this are to encourage people to keep trying, keep working on their channels and don't give up because videos like this happen all the time and you never know it. I had no idea this video would do as well as it did. I was totally planning for it to do as well as the last and really just a little bit more. My expectations were around 50,000 views. That was my honest expectations of this video when I first uploaded it. For it to be over a million and going strong completely just blows my mind, which is why you just never give Never. This video was well over 300 videos in the making of my channel before it has gotten the success. So never give up. And if you are a follower of mine, you're starting your own YouTube channel, don't give up. Keep going. Find your little niche. Find your little, like, just find yourself. Be yourself. Find yourself in your channel. Make your channel your own. Get your followers and start having fun. I feel like YouTube is more successful when you have fun. When you take it too seriously, I think that's when you don't see the type of results that you want to see. You have you have to be serious in some aspect of it. Like you have to be diligent and you have to be disciplined to, you know, stay at it and keep working at it, but like don't take it too seriously in terms of the type of content. Have fun with it. The more fun you have in my experience, the more you get back um, because that's just seems how YouTube works. And that's fine with me because I love having fun. Life is much better when you can enjoy it. And yeah, so this video was just to show that anybody can start a YouTube channel with only a couple thousand subscribers and, you know, have a good video take off and make some good money. And it's also to show what 
realistically, YouTube pays for a viral video of a million views. That's finally going to wrap it up here for this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with everyone you know if you want to see more content like this and you haven't already. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Keep a lookout for the next Cars Created video.